Aguten Erev Shabbos, everyone. Today is Pesach Sheni, Yudalad Iyar. It's 29 days in the Oimer. Parsha Semar. On Shabbos, we will be reading the fourth parak of Pirke Ovis, which I hope to uh, talk about Sunday night on the uh, Shtibel Zoom chat. Hope to see you all there at 8.30. This week's Parsha talks about Kiddush Hashem. Kiddush Hashem Shemayim is to recognize and to imbue in us the understanding that we're ambassadors of goodwill for the Rabbi Nishalelam's name. And there's the concept of Shiyehei Shem Shamayim Mishayev Al Yadecha, that the name of Hashem should be loved through the actions that you take. I'd like to illustrate this a little bit through the life and times of one of the great Goinim who I always admired, Rav Chatzka Labramsky. He was... Uh, born in uh, what today is Belarusia and I think Grodna. And he was born in the 80s, I think 1886. He learned in many yeshivas. He learned in Slabotka, he learned in Mir. But most of all, he learned in Brisk. He was a Talmud of Rav Chaim Salavechik, Rav Chaim Briska. So he was a hybrid, a collection, an amalgam of everything that was beautiful in all the yeshivas. And Talmidim who had him later in life, when he moved to Eretz Yisrael, were always in awe of the breath and the tremendous amount of lessons that he gleaned from every one of the stations that he went to. At the age of 42, in the 30s in Russia, he started a journal, a, peri- a periodical, it was, it was called Yagdal Torah. And he collected a lot of um, articles from different rabbanim all over. Russian communists saw that as subversive, they arrested him, and I think he sat in jail for a good few years. Through different efforts of people abroad, he was finally given his freedom, But life was never the same for him in Russia, and he had to move. Ultimately, he moved to England. There he was convinced by Rabbi Hertz, who was the chief rabbi, to assume the position of Av Bezdin, to be the chief justice of the British Bezdin. He brought a tremendous amount of prestige and credibility. They didn't have a Talmud Chacham like that till then. And from then on, Bezdin of England was, Bezdin of London was considered a very prestigious Bezdin. At his point, there was Diane Grosnas, Diane Fisher, Diane Fischel and Diane Abramsky sat together in many cases. Diane Abramsky was known to be a phenomenal orator. While his English was broken and he didn't speak with great dialect, but his passion and his charisma came through. And once he was asked by someone, how come it is that both you and Diane Fischer, a great Talmudic Chachamim, both you and Diane Fischer have a horrible English and yet you speak so well and he doesn't. His answer was, it's true. Diane Fisher is a big Talmud Chacham, maybe bigger than me. Diane Fisher has a terrible English, maybe is as bad as mine. But when I speak, I think about how great of a Talmud Chacham I am. When he speaks, he thinks about how bad his English was. And he says, Beid Dezan and Gerech, both are true. That's why I speak well. He once humorously said, Diane Fisher is the third best speaker in England. They asked him who the other two were. He said, listen, Abramsky is number one. And so Abramsky, Kupnish Kinsveta, there's no number two when Abramsky's in the race, and Fish is number three. When he was in his 60s, 65, he moved to Eretz Yisrael, and there he had a yeshiva till he was in his mid um, 90s, where he died, Beseva Teva, in 1976. Now, the, the story that they say about him, which is so, I would say, uh, monumental, is that during the time that he was in Russia, after his arrest and freedom, he never went to sleep in pajamas. He always slept with his Prince Albert and his pants and shirt and a tie. When asked why, so he replied, he said he saw, he was an Adria, he saw one of the Rabbanim being dragged out, beaten up, and hung in a market square in his pajamas. He said, and people passed by, and it was a tremendous Chilul Hashem, no fault of the Rav. Our very own Mr. Bogatin, who davened for us, Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur, his father was one of the Rabbanim that was killed by the Russian communists during the rabbi purge. And Diana Abramsky said he was an aide to this, he saw this, and he wasn't going to let them hang them with such ignominy and, and, and lack of dignity. It was going to be a dignified man, a representative, a prince of the Torah, if they were going to hang him. This is an unbelievable concept of the, 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 the beauty of, of Kiddush Hashem, the understanding that he's a dignitary, he's a diplomat for Hashem's Torah, and recognizing the tremendous weight that that ambassadorship carries with it. They say about the Chofetz Chaim, Saif Chayav, 
the end of his life, he wasn't able to learn. He asked his family always, when I'm sitting, please open a safer in front of me, a chumash, a gemara. It shouldn't be that I look like an old fool who doesn't do anything and I sit by a table. Let there be a safer. I'll look a little bit. I'll make sure that the safer is used. Again, the understanding that these men had was they were ambassadors for Hashem and for his Torah. The situation we find ourselves in right now affords us the ability to all be ambassadors. We could reach out to neighbors. We could seek to try to help people that need help. We could try to be um, supportive in ways that we generally are not able to be. It offers us tremendous amounts of opportunities. Great ambassadorships are open right now. We should see to try to fill those positions and to do it with dignity and to do it in a way I point out that the Chinese characters that spell out crisis are a combination of two characters. One is tragedy and the other is not opportunity because crisis in Chinese understanding is something that's tragic that offers opportunity. We too have a tremendous amount of opportunity, whether it's in our house, whether it's with our extended family, whether it's with our friends, whether it's with neighbors, whether it's pe people that need us, we should seek to try to fill those spaces and grab those opportunities with Shabbos, I look so forward to seeing you soon. Hopefully by Shavuos we'll all be together, maybe sooner. With Shabbos, good Shabbos.